I'm going to show you the Baltius boss fight in Attack the Watch Point. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these guns, the, um, well, you can't see them here, but the 8th Chai 16s. Uh, they're specifically for getting rid of his shield. And then there's these back units. There's the VP60 LCS, which are like laser guns. And that will do the actual damage to him. And we're going to try to be a little more tanky, but we're going to get the most bang for our buck on tankiness. So we're going to put this helmet on that will give us or this headpiece that will give us a decent amount of AP for weight. But then we're going to put this uh, chest piece on, which will give us a ton of AP for compared to the weight. But then the arms, we're just going to put these uh, really lightweight arms on because even the heaviest arms don't really give any AP for the weight. And then the legs, uh, we're going to keep these legs. Uh, this is like these legs are actual legs that we can use with this much weight. I, I, I want to avoid the tank body because it just sucks for maneuvering. I'm going to do that. Um, and then we're going to use the uh, Burzel Booster 21D. This thing for close range damage. And then this battery because it's the only one that can support all this. And with that, we should be able to beat him. It's still going to be rough. I'll explain to you guys how you want to go out fighting him. But I'm going to go ahead and replay this. I'll skip ahead to the boss fight. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here's the boss. In order to dodge its attack, you want to dash at him like that. At like last second at top left or top right angle. Um, that one I was supposed to dodge. Whenever he makes the beep beep noise, you got to dash and you'll dodge the rocket. If he does one of these, you got to go at him right away. If you're too far then it's not going to be good. If, if he's got you like this, you just got to shift dodge all you can in order to dodge as much of it as you can. If he's doing that, he's going to follow up with a shotgun, so be careful. If he does a submachine gun thing, then he's going to follow up with a shotgun. I was going through all the attacks with you first, and then we'll talk about what to do. All right, for this, we're going to go again at an upward angle straight at him right away like that. And that's how you minimize the damage, but you still take some no matter what because this guy, no matter what, does damage to you. And I just didn't dodge at all the thing. So right now I'm just trying to show you the dodge. So there's that attack. It always warns you with the beeps. And stage 2 has different ones where he has these dumb fire attacks. And they'll um, pretty much mess you up no matter what. Alright, so once his shield's down, we're going to hit him with that. It's the only thing that really does any damage to him in this scenario right now with what I have. He's probably going to missile. Or he's just going to sit there. I don't really know what he's doing. So unfortunately, I shift dodged right before he casted the um, that thing. And if you shift dodge right before it, then you're on downtime from the shift dodge. And then you just get hit no matter what. All right, so even if you shift dodge, if he's got a weird angle on you, it no matter what hits you anyway. So the, the trick with this guy, really, and what I'm getting at here is it's a DPS race. That's why we got armor. That's why we got the thing to get rid of his shield quickly. Because what you really need to do is you need to just DPS race him. You got to just do as much damage as you can, as fast as you can, and that's really it. And you, whoever, like, just try to mitigate as much damage as you can, and then just do as much damage as you can, and... That's it. And hope that you do enough damage before he does enough damage. And if you get bad attack patterns, then you just die. And that's that's it. That's this boss fight. So uh, I'm going to have to reset it, though, to actually win it. But I just wanted to show you the different attacks. So here's stage two. And then you'll have, like, a fire swipe, which I'm not going to show because I'm about to die. Oh, there's a fire swipe. And the fire swipe, I mean, you need to either get distance. You just get distance. Because depending on which one he does... He can just track you so well, you'll just, you'll literally just hit, get hit no matter what. So if you want to dodge it, you just try to back off or you just sh like dash at him, like sh the fast, like long dash and just hope that he goes past you. But realistically, it's just a DPS race. Uh, so with this build, we're fast enough and we got all the right tools to try to DPS race him. So now let me actually try to DPS race him and see if I can get this to show you what I mean. Oh, well, I just messed that up. All right, well, we improvised and made it work. It's an autonomous PCA craft. He's probably going to miss. Oh, he's not going to missile. Oh, unfortunately, if he has an upward angle like that, and when he does that, I get hit literally no matter what.
Oh, here's this. I go up an upward angle. All right, there's his armor. Gonna do as much damage as we can to him here. Oh, whoops, I hit the button before turning. I can't imagine on controller because he can't turn fast enough. All right, so that was a good cycle. We got about half his HP. We got him the second phase, got back off trying not to get hit by that. Okay, so I just want to recharge my boost. It's amazing that fire does damage to a mech. That makes no sense. He puts fire on the ground. I walk and I take damage. I can just go at him for this and add him for that and hope that is enough. So we're just trying to DPS race him here. Hopefully we don't get bursted too hard. Oh, we stunned him. That's huge. And there we go. So that is it. Uh, I think this build, as far as builds that you will be, uh, that will be available to you by the time you get to this boss, I think this build's probably the best one because you still have enough mobility to actually try to dodge, but enough DPS to counter him and kill him before he kills you. But I, I couldn't tell you if there was a better way. I tried for like two hours testing different things. And the best I got was you can dodge some of some of his attacks. And if he does certain attacks at bad times, then you get hit no matter what 100% of the time. So uh, it, it, it's like, it's almost like a dice roll. Like if you knew all the attacks and knew what to do for every attack, then there'd be like, you know, like a, say 20% chance that you take minimal damage in the fight and an 80% chance that even knowing everything he can do, he just does it at the wrong time and you no matter what take like 3,000 damage or something. Like it could just happen no matter what you do. Like if he's over your head when he shoots down with that missile, hits you no matter what. If he, if you're on one side and he flies all the way to the other side then does the mega missile attack, you literally can't get close enough fast enough. You get hit by like all the missiles and take 3,000 damage. There are things that can happen that can be out of your control. So that's why it's best to just get a bunch of AP and just try to rush him and burst him down as fast as you can while trying to minimize your damage. That's how you want to do it. So if you need to help with this boss fight, hopefully this guy was able to help you out. Hopefully now you've a better idea how to beat this boss in Armored Core 6.